This video is going to focus on using Microsoft Office uh, Picture Manager in the 2003 version. So we're going to start off with My Documents. We're going to learn how to take my picture and reduce its size. So we're going to uh, open it with Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Here we go. <clears throat> Now, uh, Microsoft Office Picture Manager, we're going to call it Picture Manager from now on, starts off reducing the picture as shown to fit the screen that's available. So here it reduced it to 16% of the original. And a wonderfully clear picture. Now this picture is, when you go to edit it, you just want to resize it. This picture is 3,648 by 2,736 pixels. So that's huge. You know. So, now we're going to reduce it. We're going to press the reduce button over here. You see uh, reducing to smaller and smaller percentages. And I think we want to get 10%. That's what we kind of shot for last time. Well, that's uh, 400 by 300. Well, I think I like a little bit bigger than that. I've had good luck with 500 by 400. So I'm going to try 14% this time. Look at how beautifully clear the stars are on here. Wow. So, now it's reduced to uh, about 500 by 400. And now, Picture Manager shows it as a 100%. So, here we go. We're going to make sure that we save this as uh, the stern flag with uh, low res. And we can only save it as a bitmap. So uh, that takes a little bit more space. Well, I'm just going to check here to see how much more space it takes. We're going to go to My Pictures. And we're going to click on this guy right here and look at the properties. Now it says it takes 574 kilobytes. That's quite a bit. So let's get out of there and let's go put this into paint. Remember, open with paint because in paint we can save it as a totally different file. Save as a JPEG. So there we go, JPEG. We can save it just like that. It won't uh, destroy the other one because it has a different suffix. So now let's take a quick look at that JPEG picture. Remember what we saw in properties before? We saw half a million. Now we're seeing a tenth of that, about 470 kilobytes, which is still, you know, quite reasonable. And the picture looks good. So. We're done. That's all there is to it. Later on, I'll show you how to uh, take this big picture and open it with uh, Picture Manager. And then you can take just a little bit of it and make a picture out of that by using the crop function. Edit. Crop. Down to something like that. Look at that flag. 
Isn't that amazing? You can see the stitches in that dude. <laughs> That's a beautiful picture. Well, maybe it's a little bit, uh, it's still a little bit big. So let's just uh, go to 100% see what happens. Whew, there you start to see a little stuff. Look at that flag. It's almost like it's right in front of you, isn't it? You with your glasses on. Look at those stitches. Wow. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. But you can make really nice small pictures out of, I mean, pictures, picture, nice size pictures out of the small details that are on there. So save as stitches. <laughs> okay. Okay. Save. Okay. We're done. For now.